I'm going to show you how to use Adobe's AI Auto Color for black and white images. First thing you want to do is go to Image Mode and make sure that RGB color is selected. If you're working with a black and white image, often grayscale will be selected, but you want to make sure it's RGB color. From there, you're going to go to Filter, Neural Filters. Once Neural Filters launches, you've got this option here, Colorize. If you have not downloaded it before, you'll see a little cloud icon. So just click on that and it'll download and install it. I've already done that. So I'm just clicking on and now the AI is going to run. You can see it's processing and it's colorizing this image. So already it's done a pretty good job. But as you can see on the right and left here with the water, those aren't quite right. So a few things you can do is if you go over to adjustments, you can do adjustments for the overall image. So maybe I want to add a little more cyan, for example, or adjust the saturation. I can do that. You can. It also has a default profiles in here. Uh, personally, I don't really use these. I think they're a bit extreme. But you know, if you want to get that kind of retro-y film effect, you can do that. And then you can always play with them some more. What I want to do here is adjust this. So in the image over here on the right, you can see once I mouse over it, I get a little pointer. I'm going to click the area I want to work with, and it's going to pull up a color picker. So I want this to be this kind of bluish color. So let's get into there and try to find something that looks pretty similar. Let's go with this. And the nice thing about this is if it's not quite right, we can always adjust it later. I'm going to hit OK. So it ran that, and you can see it did adjust the color for that blue, but it's not quite right. What I can do now is click on it, and let's give it a little bit more of a green to it as well. Oops. Now I'm not going to make this perfect because this is, of course, just a demo on how this functionality works. Although I did just make it worse. There we go. I'm happy enough with that. It looks pretty close. But it didn't do it over here on the left. So what I can do is you can click on it and do the same thing, or you can actually just mouse over and on a PC hit Alt, on a Mac hit Option, click on it, and then just drag it over to another area where you want to put that same color on and notice it did that as well. So I could keep playing with this a bit more and get it closer to right in here, but I'm gonna move over into Photoshop and show you what you can do in there as well with this. So I wanna make sure that I output this to a new layer. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, now what we can do is we can start adding some color adjustments. I'm gonna go new adjustment layer, solar color, and I'm gonna fix those kind of hills or that island in the background. So I think that needs to be kind of a, maybe a dark greenish back there. Hit OK. And it's OK that it colored the whole thing. Now what I want to do is click over here where the color fill is. And I want to hit this option here where it says invert. OK, after I hit invert, I want to change my, I want to change this from normal to color because I really only want to mess with the color of that. And then I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to select white and I'm going to start kind of painting in that color. Well, that's very green. If I want to change it, which in this case I do, double click on it, it'll bring it up and you can change the color a little bit if you want. And then I'm going to click back over to the adjustment layer and then you can just keep painting around with it. It's okay if you go out of the lines. Uh, if you do that, just switch to black and paint away the black. All right, so this isn't really quite what I wanted, but it is what I wanted for the purpose of this demo. Uh, so I'm not going to go back and adjust it too much, but so that way you get the point. And then I can do the same thing with the sky, anywhere else on it. Something else that you can do here which comes in handy sometimes, is since you've got this as your color layer, 
and this is the black the background layer is your black and white layer you can adjust the brightness levels using that background layer so I'm gonna to go to adjustment and I'll just do levels and now what I'm gonna do is hit this little down thing here so what it's telling it is apply these levels to this layer down here right so if I do that you'll see nothing really happens what I need to do is go to that layer with the color on that and I need to switch that to color as well and now when I adjust this it's going to adjust it and what's what it's doing is it's actually adjusting the brightness and darkness to that black and white layer which is kind of which is why this is a handy way to do this so there's still a lot more that can be done to this image uh, the sky clearly isn't quite right there's some cleanup that needs to be happened on it but I just wanted to give you a quick intro into how that Adobe AI works now you do so now you can go and color some images.